I have always had a healthy respect for audiobook narrators. I have read aloud my fair share of books. I have read many books to my dad. I have read books to nieces and nephews and recorded books for them. And you know what? One of the things that I used to do for fun is I just sat down with one of my favorite books and I would record it on cassette. I still have some of them in this drawer of my nightstand. None of them are finished. They're all pretty horrible because I was about 12 when I did it and didn't quite understand audio cassette recording or figuring out character voices, but needless to say, it has been a part of my life for a very long time, so I understand a little bit of the skills and the talent that is necessary to be involved with narrating. Welcome back to another segment of In the Spotlight, and this month we are talking about Catherine Kelgren. In case you hadn't guessed, Catherine Kelgren is an audiobook narrator. I understand she's also an actress and has spent some time on the stage, but primarily I know her for her audiobook narrations. The job of a narrator is to bring characters to life, to infuse themselves into a fictional person in order to bring them to life for an audience much like an actor. Only the narrator's job is twice as hard. For one thing, they don't have the benefit of mannerisms, or hand gestures and facial expressions. The only thing they have to work with is their voice. Never mind the fact that they're voicing an entire ensemble of characters that need to sound individually distinct. Unlike actors, they can't even ad-lib or straighten the words of a script around until they catch it right between their teeth. They can't improvise. They don't have the creative freedom to actually become a character or to twist the character just a little bit to make it more like themselves so it's easier to play. Because unlike actors, their job isn't just to bring life to a character, isn't just to entertain and engage the audience, they also have to stick to the book. Catherine Kelgren is spectacular. I listen to audiobooks regularly, and this was a name that just kept popping up, which isn't a surprise considering she has narrated over 100 books. 100. I first encountered her in the Kane Chronicles audiobooks by Rick Riordan. She voiced the spunky English Sadie Kane, and I fell in love with Kelgren's talent on the spot. Seriously, if you haven't listened to those books yet, you have to. Sadie Kane may have attitude on the page, but it's nothing compared to her via Kelgren voice. I thought nothing of it at the time. It was a good narration. I finished the stories. I moved on. Then I picked up Enchanted by Alethea Contis on audiobook. Read by Katherine Kelgren. Now, admittedly, at first I had serious doubts about this. Why? Because Sadie Kane was full of spunk and smack and Sunday Woodcutter of Enchanted is not. I quickly got over it. I swear, listening to that audiobook, I could not tell most of the time that it was the same narrator. Austin Land Audio, American Accent, Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place, Prim and Proper English. Though I haven't listened to them, Kelgren has also narrated E.D. Baker's Tales of the Frog Princess, The Enola Holmes Mysteries by Nancy Springer, and L.A. Meyer's Bloody Jack series, apparently complete with sea chanties and ballads. There's an interesting article about Kelgren linked below, and in it she talks about how she went to a singing coach to help her find exactly the right key in which she could sing to sound like a drunk Scotsman. That's what I call awesome. At this point, I really don't think there's anything Catherine Kelgren can't do. Not only does Catherine have a lovely voice and total boss narrating skills, but she can pour so much emotion and energy into so many and so very diverse characters. She always draws me into the story, not just with a mild interest, but headfirst, deep into the book's heart. It's no wonder she's won several Audi Awards, ALA Odyssey Honors, and Audiophile Earphone Awards. Forget author and title. I'm going to start picking up audiobooks on Katherine Kelgren's narration alone. I highly recommend everyone try at least one of her audiobooks. The titles that she's narrated are wide and diverse, so you shouldn't have any problem finding at least something that tickles your fancy. Just look her up on Amazon and get started. So, to wrap up, audiobooks are awesome, book narrators are amazingly talented people, Catherine Kelgren must be listened to right now. 
So what about you guys? Do you listen to audiobooks? Do you have a favorite audiobook or perhaps a favorite book narrator? Let me know in the comments below or you can tweet me. My handle is WordBenderManda. You can find me on my Facebook page, my blog, and my Tumblr, and they are all linked in the box below. So don't hesitate to let me know who your favorite audiobook narrator is. Alright guys, tune in next month for another In the Spotlight video, and don't forget, next week I will have another video of some kind up.